I have been receiving a lot of requests recently to do more Canva designs, so I have decided to do another streetwear design. I love streetwear designs and today, we are going to do this design using Canva. If you are interested in this kind of design, go and watch my recent streetwear design tutorial with Canva. I will be using Canva Pro for this tutorial. Most of the elements I will use are only available on Canva Pro. You will find a link in the description to a free 1 month trial of Canva Pro. I am using an artboard of 4500 by 5400. From the elements menu on the left, I will search for statue. First, I picked up the same statue that I used in my recent design. But later, I decided to change this one and choose another Roman statue. I am recording the whole designing process to see how I ended up with the design I wanted. Then I decided to add some wings. I searched for illustrated wings to find detailed wings. As I said before, it is very important to search with the right terms in Canva to find what you are looking for. I picked up these transparent wings and decided to crop them. Then I searched for futuristic retro elements. This is the term where many of the streetwear graphic elements are found. I decided to choose another pair of wings as the previous ones were transparent. Now, I have decided to pick a couple of elements. Most of these elements will not be used in the final design, but I had to try to see which ones fit. Trying many things is part of the designing process. Told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave, had to find a way to change, had to lead to find my way. Got up in a daydream. I've been now I have started to add some text. I have also tried a couple of Canva fonts to see which one fits. Now I have decided to search under streetwear. Now, it was time to change my main elements. I decided to search for retro antique statues. I found a much better fit for my design. But I have decided to crop it and make the image bigger.
I still don't like the half circles at the top of my design. So, I have decided to change them and find something else. And that was not an easy process. I tried to add text instead, but I will end up changing it also. I added the text below the main statue and decided to shoot for other colors. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. Again, you will find my affiliate link in the description if you would like to try Canva Pro for free for one month. Thanks for watching.